Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Today we're going to do, I'm going to do something, I guess you could call it a mass make, but I'm not looking at it like that. Uh, it is my Tuesday mini Rolodex collar, collage. Collage. Have you ever heard of a collage? It's a little different than a collage. This is a collage. <laughs> And I've had a cup of coffee already. I don't know where that came from. Um, but it is the mini Rolodex collage day for me and for you. Uh, I found, I didn't find, I've had these stamps that I purchased. Uh, I used to purchase stamps from a gentleman by the name of Dave over on Instagram. And I don't think he sells anymore but I've bought some really cool stamps from him over the past and these here and I I don't I should have looked beforehand uh, I do not know how to pronounce where they are from you see I've got my little magnifying glass because it's in fine print down there uh, I don't know, I'm not even going to try to say what country they are from. I do not know. But I fell in love with these images. And I just think they are wonderful. And I've been wanting to use them. And I thought that it would be great to put them on a little series of index cards. So I have pulled these stamps which are just beautiful. I'm going to set these aside because I do not want to get, I don't want to get them wet. I'm going to be using some watercolors. So I've pulled the stamps to use. And I have my watercolors. I am going to use the metallic. I'm not going to use a lot of these, but I just want to put a little bit of color on the back because I'll show you what I want to use as well. So I'm setting these aside. I have my latex, my matte gel, and I have some black because I'm going to do some stenciling on these as well. And I have, let me just move these to this side. I have my sill pat down so it can absorb the mess. It'll be easy to clean. And I have these art journaling books and I've purchased these a couple different ones over the course of the last few years and I've been wanting to use I like I with the whole purpose of using these images in my artwork cutting tearing uh, and all that fun stuff not using them to sell these are for my use only but I wanted to show you, I mean, a lot of times, uh, you know, just a simple piece of torn paper behind a collage, it just adds a lot to it. So I found this here. And this art journal page was created by Lynn Moncrief. Oh, uh, we can learn more about Lynn through WordPress.com and on Instagram. And what I will do is I will put the description. I'm going to put, it's at Stamping and Beyond. I'm going to put her information on here because I definitely want to give her a shout out and give her credit. I love this here. And I just thought when I was looking at these stamps, <clears throat> excuse me, I just thought little pieces of these backgrounds, both the top and the bottom, would be wonderful to put a little bit of that behind uh, behind as a background. So I'm just going to take this page out. All right. So I have my page here. I'm going to set my book. Side. So I'd love to have you stick around and welcome. Good morning, everybody. All right, so I will be ripping and tearing 
pieces of this, both of these, to put on the collage. So I'm going to set everything to my right. Um, I just saw that, that way I don't have to reach across the camera like I have been doing. And hopefully I won't forget anything. I'm going to move my water up here. I have my, my water for my watercolors. Uh, I've got my stamps for the back for my mood. I've got to kind of take it. And then I have this stencil set, which is by Robin McClendon. And I want to do some mark making after I get everything down and before I put the stamps on. And this is just, these are just really cool. And I thought I would do the mark making in the black. That's why I have the black acrylic and the matte medium. I'll mix those together. So I'm going to put that there. I have my cards. I have my watercolors. And the reason I'm doing, I guess this, you know, is like a mass make is so I have all of the watercolors. If I were to do one at a time or I, I don't know if I would remember the watercolors that I used to create the background. So that's why I'm doing it all, all at once. So I'm going to lay these out. Now I do not have any, unfortunately, I do not have any um, paint tape, painter's tape. So I'm just going to have to kind of play with these not being stuck down. I'm going to have to get some. I tried some all-purpose. Um, I tried some all-purpose uh, tape, and it tore it a little bit when I ripped it off. So I'm not prepared in that in that aspect. The other thing I did is these are really, you know, quite shiny. I took I took a small piece of sandpaper and this is 220 extra fine, okay? And I just roughed the fronts up a little bit, all right? I wanted to see what kind of effect that might have on these. So, and I have my brushes, I have my that one. I have my palette to mix my matte and ink. So I am just going to start and I thought also I could, I have a little hair on here from another brush. I also thought, you know, if you're not using the backs, you could probably take a little tiny, just a smidgen of double-sided tape here and just put it down. If you were going to cover the back, then they would stick a little bit better. Um, I'm just going to try it here. I don't know how it's going to come out. We're just going to have a play. So I want to take a look first. I picked this color cube out when I first started. I do not have a lot of the colors in the watercolor or acrylics here and I think I might change this out I, I guess that'll still be okay because I'm using the matte medium but I do like to use the acrylic with the matte gel uh, so I'll give you know maybe I'll give the watercolor a try today I don't know it's just trial and error right but I do have I have a you know I have the I have a yellow I have a beige I have, this is peach, I can use a little bit of that. But I also want to go with the colors of these stamps. So again, I have a lovely, looks like an apple green, I have the yellow, and maybe I'll just go with some blues. All right, I have the blue, mm, I guess this blue here, right over here. So these can actually be my color car, my color choices as well, obviously. There's the green and the yellow again with a little bit of blue. So I think I will, I think I will go with that, which was over in here, the green, the yellow, the beiges. All right. So let's just give this a go. And I think I will, I think I'm, 
I think I will start with the yellow first. I want to get a little, let's see here. I'm just going to, I don't want to use that. I'm just trying to pull a little something. You know, I'm going to use this diaper that I use for, let me put this up here. If I, just if I want to take a little bit of the water off. And this is what I'm going to, I'm just going to be doing it like this, just kind of abstracty and no rhyme or reason. And these paints here, uh, someone had asked me, I don't want to turn, there's no sticker on the bottom. These I saw at Michael's Crafts, they're called metallic watercolors, and I believe Amazon has them. So if you're over in, if you're across the Great Pond, uh, and I know some people don't have, I know these I think were purchased at Hobby Lobby. Um, I actually got them as a gift from my son one year at Christmas. Um, you know, there are different places that you can, you can purchase these. All right, so now I'm going to put a little bit of the blue on. I'll turn this around so you can see here. And again, you don't have to cover the the entire um, backdrop because remember, we're going to be tearing paper as well. The stamp is going to be on here. I just want to add a little tiny bit of color to that. All right, I'm going to use my dryer just to dry them a little bit, and I'll be right back. Because this is not watercolor paper and it's a little bit thinner, you will get some curl. So what I do is I flip them, put the heat on the back side. Then when they're dry, I just kind of work with them and just get them semi-straight again. You can take that curl right out. And I just do this to... And if you have enough of these Rolodex cards and, you know, you don't want to do all 500 of them, seems like that's what's in some of these uh, Rolodex holders. You can always take another one and back. I've, I've, I think I did that in my last, <clears throat> my last video. Boy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm having a terrible time this morning. All right, so I have all of these with the paint on them. And now I'm going to take, because I really don't know yet, and I may even stitch around these today uh, with black. I think that would be fun. But I'm going to start ripping and tearing this. I do want some straight edges on it to put up around the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut the top of this, all right? And I'm going to save this as well because this here could be used in a section gonna do this and I'm not going to do this side because I may want to tear a little bit of this white and get this in here I will t uh, cut it down just a tad okay so we have these now the 
just here. And I'm going to tear this right here. Okay, I'm going to take this off. All right. All right, so I have some square or some straight sides for the ripping and tearing. And I think I'm going to start with because I really like this. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to cut this right down. So I want to get some of this, the printing here. And it doesn't really matter. Just going to get some of this laid out. Doesn't matter if it's going sideways or what it's doing. This here I will cut. And I just want these to be somewhat abstract. This I might want a little bit more. That is kind of um, I might trade that one out for this. Let's save that for something else. This one was up here like that. Okay. And we're just going to play here to see what else. <clears throat> now, I do want to put my stamps towards the end because I do have to cut that little tiny bit out. And this is where we're going to see where we might want more background. So, so far, so good. I do like the background coloring. And I think we're going to want to bring in another. Uh, we're going to have our stencils. We're going to do our mark making. But I do like these lines up here. So I think maybe I will reconfigure. Let's see, we have this line. We'll reconfigure the tops of these a little bit. I do like that, so I'm going to cut this down a tad. Let's do it this way. I'm just off camera here. use this in a little bit. And let's move this around. Half the fun is just playing. So I hope, I know that uh, Marguerite Miller is doing a 100 day, I think it's a 100 day challenge with, <clears throat> excuse me, with uh, 
her collage, her uh, Rolodex card. So I hope everyone, if you are participating in that, I hope you're having fun with that. I know I really like I really like working in the smaller a little bit of a smaller uh, area here. It's I find I just find it more challenging. have an idea of what I would like to this here I'm gonna cut I have another this here I got this going on and I'm gonna take this out that I'm going to add this back right in around here okay once I get my little pieces here then I can start gluing some of this down little tiny bit of this here. Just a little bit of overlapping of that, okay? So I think that so far is good. So I'm going to start to get these glued down. Now we can chat a little bit. I can't, I don't talk a lot, if you can believe that, when I'm doing something like this. Because I just I need to concentrate. I think that's good. All right, so let's start getting some of this down. Okay, now we can chat. So, <clears throat> what is going on? Let's see, what happened over the weekend? Not much. Um, really, not much at all. What did I do? Friday night or Friday afternoon, I went to see the movie... Come on, Barbie. Why don't you go see Ordinary Angels, which was, it was a nice movie. I think I'm going to ink this up just a little bit. Um, 
I really liked it. I thought it was a nice movie. A little something definitely out of the ordinary, not a shake them up, you know. Um, kill them up, shoot them up type movie. So that, that was nice. I'm going to move this in a little bit because I am going to stitch around this. Um, so I did that and then went to my girlfriend's house for dinner, which was nice. And then what did I do Saturday? Oh, what did I do Saturday? Oh, I know what I, oh yeah, I said, yeah, I know what I did Saturday. I what did I do Saturday? Isn't that awful? I think Saturday, yeah, because yesterday was Sunday. Yeah, Saturday, I, um, I don't think I did anything in my craft room. I ended up, my dining room table was full of papers for my accordion folder from 2023. I'm going to move this over just a little bit to the edge so I can snip that off just a tad. And uh, <clears throat> they had been sitting there ever since I got some work done for the accountant for our taxes. So I decided that I needed to get them off the dining room table. I had laundry on there that I had folded. Um, so I worked on that most of the day. I came up in my office. My office looked like the Tasmanian Devil had gone through it. Again, between a few of my videos last week and uh, other stuff. So I got that. I took the girls for a walk around the property. I don't like to take them on the road because of the salt brine. I don't like to get that, have them get that on their paws. So I have a big enough property and I can't let them run. I have to keep them on the leash because they love to get into the sticks and chew, 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 and then they get sick. So I, I have to keep them on a leash, but that's good for me. I'm, I'm getting, my foot's getting exercise. I did my workout. I'm not as sore anymore, so I can up my, I can up my weights and, which will be good. So I did that, did some laundry, just, you know, little stuff here and there. And then Sunday I finished I finished uh, the dining room table. And Formula One is starting, so we're getting ready for that. We watched uh, I always call it drive-by dump. My son, I, I like to toy with my son. It's called drive, here. drive for success. I think that's what it's called, drive for success. And I always say, ask him, I go, oh, are we going to watch another episode of Need for Speed? And he's like, Mom, that's not what it's called. I go, oh, I know, it's drive for, it's drive-by dump. He goes, Mom, come on. <laughs> I like to, so we did that, which... We watched one of those on Saturday, which made it feel like a Sunday, because Formula One is always Sunday mornings. And that's about it. My son and daughter-in-law um, went to, they had to go to the Romanian consulate, so they are, they went to New York yesterday, took the train in. She has to renew her passport. 
uh, her Romanian passport. And they've already made their, they have already made their uh, arrangements. She's going to go home for the whole summer. But she's really afraid that her passport isn't going to come in time. So I just told her, I said, just tell them, ask them nicely if they can expedite it. Let them know that they, you have, uh, that you have, um, you already have your tickets to fly home. Maybe I'll put that on this side. And that's the other thing I can't get over how expensive their tickets were. It just blows my mind. Oh, let's see. do that. And what else? I don't really have anything else on my agenda for this week. Just some, you know, my videos. My brother and I are going to try to get together to have breakfast one day this week. We need to get caught up. That's it. Let me know what you all have been doing. I hope you've been getting out and having some fun with friends and such. Now that the weather is getting a little bit nicer. I talked to my girlfriend Shay yesterday and she was in, she surprised me. She goes, I'm in Orlando. I'll call you when I check into my hotel room. And uh, I'm like, wow, she's either there for a convention, work, or her and hubby went for a quick getaway. She's in Virginia. And um, yeah, lo and behold, she's there for work. She's on the international team for Siemens. And I keep saying, I go, Shay, when are you going to retire? When are you going to retire? She goes, yeah, I know. She loves her job. She goes, yeah, I'm here for the week. I come home for four days, and then I'm off to Germany. I'm like, all right. So I told her, I go, well, we want to come down and see you. And they're, That's my girlfriend that had, used to have the sheep farm. They have a beautiful, beautiful farm in Virginia. And... uh I love going down to Shane Jim's. So she goes, yeah. She goes, I've, I've got, she goes, nothing's going on in April. I, we wanted to go in April because it'll be so much nicer there in Virginia. And I told my husband I'll travel, but I'm not flying. I I don't want to fly right now. I'm, I'm afraid of flying. And I never used to be. He used to be the chicken. And I'd say, come on, we're going. And we traveled all over. Every time he turned around, I was booking another trip years ago before the boys were born so for 14 years we traveled travel travel we went everywhere um now it's like no so it's only an eight hour drive for us to get to the beautiful state of virginia and uh yeah we'll leave on a thursday We'll arrive Thursday in time for dinner, and then we'll stay three days and poke around and hang out with them and the sheep and the dog and 
um, donkeys. And then we'll drive home on, on Monday, but we'll do that towards the end of April, which will be really nice. All right, so we have these done here. I want to add some flowers, so I'm going to go grab them. We'll add some nice flowers over here. I will stitch around them, and I think we'll be good to go. One eternity later. Well, that's disappointing. As my son says, another day, another disappointment. I looked and looked and looked for the flowers I wanted to use, and when I cleaned and reorganized my room I cannot find them I've torn it apart they will show up I just have to say a prayer to Saint Anthony so I picked this I have this sticker book here vintage archive room flower guide it came in my a set a box set that I had got and I thought some of these images would be just fine because we are going to be stenciling over them now there's, which I think will be good. These are look like cotton blossoms. So I thought I could cut some of these out because they have the same colors in them and I thought they'd be really cool. So let's start with these here. Um, and I wanna get some that are a little larger and more plumy. If that is a word a word word so I believe that these are stickers yes they are and they're transparent or translucent I don't know I'm gonna have to look to see what is the correct terminology maybe somebody out there can let me know I think it's transparent Although I'm so sick of hearing that word when everybody says, you know, let's be transparent here. I'm just, I can't stand it. When my husband tries to get his point across, he'll say, just to be honest, let's be honest about this. I'm like, no, you expect you expect me to lie or you're you're going to lie about it or I can't stand that either. Let's be honest. Well, let's be anything. Let's always be honest. <laughs> oh, men. Men, 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 men. Not all men. Okay, I think I will... I'll cut a few out and see how they how they work. I think those will be cute on there. Oh. I hope you don't mind me. Taking the time to cut these out on. During the video, but. trying to be quick. Sometimes people like to see the cutting, you know, just like somebody stitching. I find it kind of relaxing. I 
do like those. Aren't they cute? Oh, let's see. This one I'd like to have something going maybe that way. And I think this is a good time to thank all of my subscribers for sticking around and watching and your comments are so nice I thank you you're all so kind and it always makes me happy when somebody tells me that I had one gal tell me that she started her Instagram up again I guess she had had it but didn't hadn't done anything on it she started that up again um, showing her work. She sent me a beautiful email thanking me for inspiring her. That always that always puts a smile on my face cuz I don't hear from you know a lot of my um subscribers. I'm getting more and more every day. So if you're new to my channel, thank you very much. I'm, I'm very happy that you enjoy what I do. I don't, um, I try to be different. You know, I know a lot of people do the same things out there, but I, you know, I do my take. I do me, you do you, they do, they do what they do. So I want to thank you. And I want to thank all of my Patreon members. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I think that's good. So these are stickers. I am going to get these ready here if I can. This I may do. I may take a break because you don't need to see me struggling with, there we go, stickers. All right, I'm going to get my tweezers. And I think we will put that right there. There. Isn't that cool? I think that is really cool looking. So we have that one. Let's see this one I want to have. always the hardest part, isn't it? Trying to figure out where you want to place it. We have that one. So that's that one there. Okay. But I have not, these, like I said, these came out of the grabby box. But I haven't used everything. I've learned that it's great to have you know, get these subscription boxes. However, I don't use, it takes me so long to use everything in a box. Um, they were nice enough to send me this one when they were first starting out. They wanted people to try them, but I just can't see spending 50 plus dollars a month and then most of my boxes sit there. That's what happened with, um, oh, what's the other one? Your Creative Studio. I got that subscription. I know a lot of girls get that for free, but I still have so many items. I think I 
that was an odd subscription because I think it came out, it only did it, sent it to you for um, three months at a time. And I haven't gone through half of the stuff in there. So if I see a little something, I'll just buy it, you know, Amazon or... Um, but I have so much stuff. I don't... I want... I'd like more stencils. I've been buying more stencils now for things like this. All right. So I'm going to step away and I am going to... Well, actually, I think what I will do, I think I will do the stenciling first, okay? Um, let me get all of that ready and then, you know, the, the medium here. And I am going to... Let's see. I guess I could do a little bit up in this corner. I guess I'm not going to step away, okay? Let's see, we're going to put a little bit. We'll put a little bit right here so you can see, okay? We'll put some there. I'll move my little sill pat down. We'll add a little bit of black. I haven't used this yet. This is why I, I really want to... I'm doing more stuff like this over on my Patreon because I just... I need to use more of my watercolors and... Um, I'm just not using this stuff with when I have planned things for, you know, my YouTube. I don't want my paints to dry out. And... Okay, so we've got that there, all right. I'll set that aside. All right, so now I'm going to put the top on this so it doesn't dry out. And we have the stencil right here, okay. So we are going to do a little bit of stenciling. I think I will start with just this here. And I have my little dauber, my little makeup. And I'm going to just use this end, this little bit smaller end, so I can kind of control. Where this goes. Let me get a nice little amount on there. There we go. Isn't that cool? I like that. All right, so there's one. And then what I will do, I'm going to get a little wipe and then I can take this off unless I want to use this one again somewhere on one of these. I can. I can put this right. Let's put this right over here. These stencils I purchased when I was laid up with my foot, because what else is there to do other than crossword puzzles, watch videos, and shop? <laughs> um, I purchased these. That is really cool. I purchased these from iStencil. And I will put that link in the, uh, the description as well. Um, let's do this one here. That is really cool. I really like that. So we have that one. And let's see. Let's use, let's do this one down this. I don't want to cover up that smile there. So let's go. Let's do this one here.
Very cool. Oh, I really like that. Okay, that one. And then we will do this one. And I think I'm going to come over and do... I think I'll do this here. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with my leftover... Um, gesso and acrylic here. Okay, very cool. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, I'm going to step away, let this dry for a little bit. We're going to come back and we're going to work with that leftover. I don't want to throw that away. I've decided to take, this is uh, a certain type of mixed media paper. I don't know, it came from, I was going to take a class and they told me to buy this. I have to go back and see because I bought it on Amazon. But I've decided that when I have leftover, it doesn't matter what color or whatever, um, when I'm doing my mixed media and this stuff, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to start making some uh, stencil using it in my stencils so that way when I start to do more of my abstract um, I want to do a an art book I will have this to add to it and such I'm just going to Take this up and I'm going to put it on here like this, like I'm buttering some bread. And I will use this on here like that. And that way, nothing goes to waste. And I can use this down the road. And then this I can just pitch and toss. So this will be the beginning of a stencil. You'll see what we'll do with that. Fun little stencil board. I call it a stencil board. That's not what it is, but that's what I call it. I make up things as I go along. I'll set that aside and we'll come back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch around these. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer for these to dry. I want to make sure that these are really dry then I'm going to do some stitching around these in black, and then we will take care of the mood on the back of each card. Let's finish these up. I went and I stitched, all right, and I just did a, I call it a messy stitch around the cards, but I really like how these came out. And when you do stitch, don't try to go over the same one. You know, take your, if you have a sewing machine, and just, you know, do a haphazardly, you know, over, under. You don't have to worry about the corners. But this one here, I need to clip. I didn't clip that. You can see here, when you do stitch on these cards, you can go right straight across, and then you can just clip it like that. I went ahead and I cut the... Um, the little tabby things out okay um, and you can see I did stamp somewhat on the back of these already and I was thinking about words you know that how I feel today or how I felt over the weekend and I wanted to incorporate them so and I kind of looked at the overall uh, design on here and this one I stamped out blessed because I did I felt very blessed this weekend so that is blessed. This gal here says, no matter the weight. And I just thought, strong. Um, you know, I just felt very strong this weekend. I felt like, you know, I could, there was nothing I couldn't accomplish if I set my mind to it. So that is strong. This one here uh, is said, of pain, of sadness, of worry. Well, I didn't really have any of that going on. But, and that just brought me to confident, 
Uh, I felt very confident this weekend. Again, I could master anything I set my mind to. This one here, it looks like she was either hunting or something right there. And I, I thought kind because I'm kind to animals and I try to be. I had a, a very nice weekend where I was very kind um, to not only my gals, but to everyone else. And then this one here with the smile, well, who would not be happy? I mean, if I was sitting on the edge of a lake just draped in a silk robe with a breeze blowing through my hair and not a carry or, wor uh, carry or worry in the world, um, I would definitely be happy. So I'm going to put happy on the back of this one. And I'm thinking about how, so it's H-A-P-P-Y. So we have one of the P's in the middle. So this is how I do it. I break down my word. I will write my word down. And then I come back. I find what's in the middle. I start in the middle. And I work my way out that way. So it's pretty much balanced. So we have, um, we have a five-letter word. Oh, that's a Q. We don't want that. I want a P. I'm in a P. Here's the P. I'm in OP. Um, so we have one P that will be in the center. So we have so we have P P and then we have the Y. Uh, where is the Y here? X, V, W, X. Oh, Y is way down here. J, P, P, Y. And then we will go back and do the A and the H. Just just be careful when you do this that you, you have it written out next to you and you can look and refer to it because you don't want to have a misspell. And here is the H. Okay, so there we have our happy. So let me move everything away here. And we can take a look at these cards. I really like the way these all came out this week. And I hope you do as well. Get the top on that ink. We don't need any mishaps there. And we are going to raise this up a little bit, okay? And we can get these all positioned out. So I'm I'm very pleased. I think this was a fun, fun project with all of these. Let me get a little bit lower for you to see. I just think these are, there we go. I just think that these cards are so much fun. I loved doing the mixed media with them. I love the stitching. If you do not have a sewing machine, you can just make dots with a marker. You can make squiggly lines around them. Uh, feel free if you have, you know, they have these little stamps that look like stitches. You can stamp around the sides if you if you want to do that. But I just think these are so much fun. I love the colors this week. They're earthy. They're real. I love I love doing the uh, the watercolor background. I just think it adds just something really different other than just paper, you know, doing a paper background uh, with your scraps. That's great to do, but I'm really, really enjoying the watercolor, and I hope you are too. Um, so again, I want to thank everybody for joining in. I hope you, again, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If you're new to my channel and you like what you saw today, I would love to have you subscribe. I'll be doing more of these. I love the little mask making. I love taking the stamps that all go together and putting them in. Um, you don't have to do just one 
card a week. You can do as many cards as you want. Fill your fill your Rolodex up. If you're on a roll and you like what you're doing, just keep going. Um, yeah, and for everyone else, thank you very much. I appreciate you all, and I will see you down the road in my next video. All right, everybody, have a great week. Bye-bye.